Hello, wonderful people of God. You are welcome once again to the Holy Hope video series. We want to discuss something very simple that is very vital to our Christian life, and that is walking in the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 says, Walk in the Spirit so that you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So, we want to discuss what does, what does it mean to walk in the Spirit? Does it mean you have to fly as a Christian in the Spirit? And then that means you are in the Spirit? No. Being and walking in the Spirit simply means being conscious of God at any point in your life. There shouldn't be a time where you leave the presence of God. There should be a time where you think God is not around so I can do things my own. There should be a time where you come to the human flesh and do things from your flesh. Any time, wherever you find yourself, you know that there is God. At times when you go to church, we live our lives in a certain way. But when we leave church, we think God is in church. God is not in other places. So when we get there, we live our lives anyhow. That's how people come to church. And leave church and go and do things outside the church. Because they think God is in the church. So we must behave a certain way in the church. But when we get home, we can live our lives. No. Wherever you find yourself, you are a Christian. The moment you, 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 you get to a point where you forget that you are a Christian, you have lived the spirit. And you are gratifying the desires of the flesh. No. So you should be in the spirit all the time. You should walk in the spirit all the time. Being conscious that wherever you find yourself, there is God. At your workplace, there is God. So when they are adding zeros, you don't do it. Why? Because there is God at your workplace. When they are sharing money, you know that this money was not gotten right. It is fraud. It is corruption. You don't you go and join them because there is God at the workplace. You will not take it because you are conscious of God at every point in time. In class, there is God. So when people are cheating their exams, you wouldn't take part. Why? Because there is God at the exams hall. So you have not forgotten even one minute that you are a Christian. And there is God everywhere. At the party, there is God. So you wouldn't go like, oh, this is just... 2%, this is just 5%, let me drink something small. No, there is God at the party. You don't leave your position as a Christian for just two minutes and come back. No, you are always conscious that whatever I do say, God is around and whatever I do must please Him. That is working in the spirit. Wherever you go, you are conscious of God. An army officer in a uniform do not lose consciousness of the fact that he is an army officer and, be, and be, begins to behave like a civilian. No, he is always conscious that he is an army officer, always ready. That is it. That's the way. Be always ready to live your life for Christ. And that is working in the spirit. Wherever you go, wherever you find yourself, you know there is God. And therefore, you will never leave the presence of God at any point in time. Wherever you find yourself, understand that God is everywhere. God is everywhere. So you don't behave like a Christian somewhere and you behave like an unbeliever somewhere. That means you are walking in the flesh and not in the spirit. Let's walk in the spirit. Let's get to understand that. Let's, let's psych ourselves that God is everywhere. And whatever we do, he sees and we judge according to that. And that is walking in the spirit. God bless you for listening to this video i pray that you share for other people to also get to know it we'll be very happy if you can like and subscribe to our youtube channel wisdom secret tv and god will bless you let us walk in the spirit so that we will not gratify the desires of the flesh god bless you and let's meet some other time try and share so people also get to know this and be blessed god bless you once again, I'm happy to be Daniel. God bless you. Bye.